special thanks to MLB Productions for sharing such a great moment in baseball history 75 years ago. And we're joined now by a special guest, Jennifer Jelly, the executive director of the Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota chapter of the ALS Association. Seems like such an obvious fit today. The Yankees in town, 75 year anniversary of the speech. How important has baseball's connection with ALS been? Well, extremely important. I mean, Lou, in his iconic speech 75 years ago, not only was he a fabulous baseball player, but he gave a face to this disease and he really brought it to the forefront. Um, so it's very exciting to be able to celebrate what he has done. Um, but for us, it's a reason to talk about what's, what we've been able to do in the last 75 years. Uh, it's obviously gave a face, gave a name to the disease. Many people still refer to the disease as Lou Gehrig's disease. In spite of all the efforts, there's still no cure for this disease. Where does it stand? What's happening on that front? Well, you're right, and I wish that I could say that there was a cure 75 years later. Um, what I can say is we've come a long way. 75 years ago, there was maybe a handful of people that were doing research on ALS. Now we have thousands of people doing research on ALS. And what's really exciting is more people want to get in the field because they're having success. They're finding things out. They're learning things. And many researchers, I just spoke, spoke to many of them, feel that in the next five years, we're going to see treatments on the horizon. And that's really exciting. How have baseball, and specifically the Minnesota Twins, been involved and helped out in this cause? Well, MLB has always been a big supporter of us. And the Twins here locally have been amazing. Um, as you know, Kent Herbeck's dad had ALS. Terry Steinbach's dad had ALS. And the two of them have done so much for us. Ron Gardenhier has gotten involved. The whole Minnesota Twins Baseball Club has supported us through events like this. They support our events here in the local community. And they really make ALS come to the forefront. Your association obviously trying to help find a cure, but also just helping families deal with the disease. How could someone get involved if they wanted to help? I'm so glad you asked. So there's lots of ways to get involved, and you're right, we do a lot of programming and services to people that are living with the disease and their families. And if people want to get involved, I would suggest they go to our website, which is ALSMN.org. We have a host of events, many that the Twins help us put on, our Blackwoods Blizzard Tour, which is a snowmobile tour, our walleye tournament, to walks, to a gala. We have something for everybody. Um, and there's lots of ways to volunteer, not only on those events, but for people and their families. Jennifer, thanks very much for joining us today on this historic anniversary. Thanks for having me.